Oh, I want to buy a new game, but I don't know what I want to buy, and I also don't want to spend money. So. Uh, sun, sun chips, man. It's a good ship. They were on sale. Which, what flavor? flavor? Yeah, it's important. I got the one of the new ones, um, sweet and spicy barbecue. Whoa. You yeah. Americans and your chips. Yeah. Oh, she took it there. <laughs> like, was that like an insult? <laughs> What's your favorite this is awkward. chips flavor? Ooh. What's my my favorite? Well, I like hot Cheetos. That's my favorite. I could eat like ten. Wait, bags. hot Cheeto flavor sun chips? Oh, we're talking about sun chips? Oh. <laughs> Ah, sun chips. Oh, I don't know, man. I like them all, dude. I like the French onion. I like that uh, tomato one. What is it called? The, uh, garden salsa. That's a good one. Yeah. Even the original. That sounds so fancy. We've got like ready salted cheese and onion, <laughs> prawn cocktail, and garden salsa. That's the place. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, like, I, I like. I usually don't like the original for most chips. Like, I don't like Lay's original or like all that, like all that kind of crap. But like Sun Chip original is pretty good. Dude, I like Lay's original either. Nobody There's likes Lay's something original. Something about it that like when I eat yeah. it, like I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Even though they don't taste bad, but I just feel like without a flavor, I feel like I'm just eating grease. Wait, so much they are. actually don't have a flavor to them? Well, it's potato. Yeah, it tastes like potatoes. Because like we have like original flavor over here, but they're always ready salted, so they always have salt on them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like that, but um, like they're just, fine. Like just Pringles. I don't like Pringle food. originals either. I don't like Pringle originals. I thought I thought you were gonna say I don't like Pringles, and I was about to leave. I like <laughs> dude. We have like freaking like fifty million flavors here. <laughs> I go to my store, pick up, and half the aisle is just different flavors of Pringles. See, I like I, I don't mind original Pringles too much, um, but of course the cheese flavor and sour cream and onion are the best ones. So I mean, yes, like, uh, salt and vinegar, man. Oh yeah, that's the best. Dude, the best. Yeah! The best. The best. Those oh my great. god, we get so excited about food every well, time actually, we start one of these. <laughs> salt and vinegar chips are my favorite anyway, like any kind. Yes. Yeah, same here. Oh man, they're so delicious. I like, what about uh, what, do you, what do you think about the dill pickle lays chips? I've never had the dill pickle lays chips. Or the lime, the lime lays. I've never had them. They just have lime the chips. The sriracha ones yeah. are good. They are good. Oh, yeah, the sriracha ones are. Did great. you that brief run where they had the chicken and waffle ones? Did you have those? I've never had that. That's what. <laughs> Yeah. That sounds like a joke. Eddie's like, ah, you're right, chicken and waffle. Like, <laughs> we have some really weird flavors over here, to be fair. Um, what do we have? We had fish and chip flavor, uh, Cajun squirrel, sense. onion bargy, uh, chili and chocolate. What? Yep, Ugh. those were a thing for a time. Sounds and good. we actually have like a, a normal one here that's Marmite flavored. So we get Marmite flavored crisps. Don't know if you know what Mama is, but yeah, it's that weird spread that all the Australians love or something. No, it's no, that's, that's Vegemite. That's Vegemite. Is Marmite, Marmite. The, the British one? Yeah, Marmite <laughs> doesn't taste as bad as Vegemite either. There's a war going on in here. <laughs> oh! There's no Australian come back at me. <laughs> right, so... so I guess Marmite wins, right? All we, all we have is Cool Whip. All, all we have is Cool Whip in America. That's cool Whip spread. You know cool what I'm Or Nutella. <laughs> It's not even the same like league, I don't think. Like, I don't have Nutella like spread on anything. I just eat it point, out of the jaw. Know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. The best way to do with so Nutella good. is you take Nutella because Nutella is a very sticky substance. It's very like annoying. It gets stuck to your knife and you're like, ah, this is a piece of shit. You know, you get all dirty, you get your fingers dirty and stuff. That's me when I <laughs> try to spread Nutella. So I've, you wanna... I've just got this image of you with it, like, all around your mouth and all over your face. Oh, like, ah, what do I do? Like, uh... I can't even wash my hands because if I, ch like, try to turn the sink on, it's going to get the sink all dirty. <laughs> Is your hand just covered in Nutella? <laughs> no, you know, so what I do, I just, I take Nutella and I mix it with butter. Just mix it up with butter really so nicely and, be little... and it, it becomes this, like, smooth, like, spread. It's, oh, it's the greatest. I just like spreading it because it's so smooth. Nice. And then I eat, like, eat too much. And there's so much butter in there. Nah, I don't know. You feel sick afterwards, probably. But... 
Anyway, welcome to the Permadeath Podcast. Have we started another episode? And we have started episode 10, talking about food. Yeah, double digits, bro. You know, this is a lot like episode 1, but with a zero on the end of it. So, mm. this is the reboot of the Permadeath Podcast. You know what, when we get... Themselves. Everyone introduce themselves in brief history. <laughs> when we get to this point... When we go, oh, it's like episode 10, but with a zero on the end, that's going to be 100 episodes. Yeah, and I am going to be 60 years old. And I'm going to have a lot of money to retire on from this show. I probably would have been replaced, because um, I'm probably going to die before then. <laughs> but... I'm going to have like my kids take over. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to sound just like you. I'm going to tell the difference. <laughs> you, you will never even know that, that I was replaced. Oh my god, I was playing Animal Crossing, and I, there's a song in it, and I was like, this is Yokorama's song, I'm gonna go to my house and find it, hold on. <laughs> my song? I have a song? Your song. Does it sound Russian? You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> if it sounds Russian, that's keep, so keep talking. racist. Gosh. Keep talking for a minute, because so I've how, gotta load up my game. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? It's been a while since we had the full four-piece... Uh, no, it's been like one one episode. Yeah, know. it's a while. Yeah, because Yoko Roman let us down. <laughs> yeah. No, you know why it seems like a long yeah. time? I have because, to work. Because I'm so slow at putting the episodes up. So, like, like it's only been one episode, but, like, it's been, like, three weeks. Um, Because we record an episode, and I just sit on it for, like, a week and a half. And I don't do anything with it. We do <laughs> really well with the uploading, too. So I blame you. Yeah. We're doing so good. Right, are you ready for Yoko Roman's song? All right. Yeah. Listeners of the Primitive Podcast, this is Yokorama's Animal Crossing song. I gotta find it. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, she didn't have a queued up. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. You ready? <laughs> are, you, are you ready? This is All right, the highlight go. of the Permanent Podcast. <laughs> I really wish I could show you the picture. Why, why is yeah, that my song? Like, I don't know. Yokorama, like, Yokorama in the club, just like, <laughs> you know, like twerking to this. Right, I'm gonna Riding tweet out. girls with this. No, I'm, I'm just sitting there eating Nutella to this song. That's that's the Nutella oh. kind of eating song. I'm gonna take a picture. You need Nutella of and butter to this song? Just because <laughs> mixing butter <laughs> to this song. No, no. no. Turning butter. No, no. <laughs> yeah, there you oh, go. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going to tweet out the artwork to this, so you'll understand. Other people will not understand for about three weeks. They'll have to search for this tweet if they really want to know. <laughs> uh, so, how is everyone? <laughs> I'm doing okay. This okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's really early for me. Um, well, it's almost noon, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really early for me. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's early for me because it's, it's actually late. light outside. It's really weird. It's, it's a revolution. Like a podcast. It's thanks to Yokorama's right. schedule. We have um, I had to wake up. For probably it. the worst schedule you've ever had. I don't... <laughs> yeah. Probably the worst schedule ever. I mean, Let's be real. Thanks, I mean, uh, come on, I'm 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 supposed to be at work right now. You know, I'm supposed to be working. <laughs> Well, what would you rather be doing, working or talking to us? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd rather like be sleeping right now. Yeah. What did you like tell um them to like not have to go in? No, I mean it's it's my and my brother's business. I'm just like, hey, hey, bro, I'm I'm gonna come into work late tomorrow. He's like, what? I'm like, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Start conversation. So, <laughs> what? I'm, I'm supposed to be in there like around like what? afternoon, so it doesn't he matter. Gets fuming pissed and just plays the song really quick. Common, common I leave you know to that mean? to that song. I just like turn around and walk away. And just... <laughs> 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 I feel like bears? this is the most. No, those this, are dogs. This is dogs? such a shambles of an intro to a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just, you know, what we should do. Let's just. What have we all been playing? Um. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Yokorama walking and waddling away to that song. 
for him, okay. <laughs> did, did, you get, did you get my tweet, your corona? Yeah, I see, I see the, it's a dog, is that a, that's a dog, right? In a... Yeah, it's KK Slider. Wow. <laughs> Plummer Podcast retweeted me. Yeah, oh. you're, you're big time now. Oh, I'm so um, famous. So yeah, um... Uh... You've forgotten how to podcast entirely, haven't you? Yeah, this is like a new thing. So, Bill, what have you Bill's been playing? Oh, okay. Well, I've been playing, you know, uh, what have I been playing? You know, I had a lot of games. Is <laughs> that um, someone else? <laughs> um, Bill, stop stalling. Go. Just go. Let's go! They made, for a day, they made, um, there's a multiplayer FPS on Steam, uh, Red Orchestra 2, um, which is a, I've been, I've been hankering for, I was just talking to my friend the other day, um, playing Battlefield, and, um, uh, well, Battlefield 3, because that's the one I own, and I don't want to buy a new one, um, how I'm, like, kind of, like, you know, I kind of don't want to play modern shooters anymore, and I wouldn't mind if someone made a World War 2 one again. Because I kind of like just picking your class and not having 80 attachments and, like, a red dot that shoots fucking pie out and stuff. Like, come on, like, nobody puts that shit in their guns, like, in real life. What the fuck? Um, and it turns out that, I mean, three years ago they released, the people who did Killing Floor made Red Orchestra 2, which is a big 64-player World War II shooter. And I didn't know it existed um, until this past week when they made it free for a day. And everyone downloaded it, and it's really good. And, um, uh, yeah. So I've been playing that. Um, the crazy thing with that game, though, is, like, it's not really, like, a run and gun. Like, you can't run around and just, like, shoot people and do, like, spin flips and get, like, 10 kill streaks like Call of Duty. Like, it's, like, really, um, hard. Uh, and, like, realistic. Like, one hit kills usually, depending on where you get shot. Like, there's bullet drop, and, like, you have to kind of, like, move kind of um, methodically and, like, at, like, a slow pace from, like, point to point, depending on if you're attacking or defending, like, and use the cover and everything like that. But, holy shit, is it fucking intense. Um, like, I had, like, shell shock walking away from this game. Um, the only problem is that it's not really, it's not free anymore. Um, so if anyone wanted to check it out, like, it's five bucks now instead of being free, which, you know. That sp- sounds pretty cool. It sounds like uh, you're, like, a classic type of shooting game. That, that yeah. Was, like, back in the day. Even, like, c- comparing to Call of Duty, like, the earlier Call of Duties. It's very, like it's very, I don't want to say, like, slow paced because I think when some people, are, some people have been describing this game on, like, Reddit and, like, the forums, like, they'll be like, oh, all you Call of Duty kiddies ain't gonna like it. Suck my dick. And then, and then I'm like, you know, that, that's not how you introduce someone to the game you like to play. Like, you know, like it's kind of the wrong way. Like, you know, who, maybe the people who play Call of Duty will will like it anyway. You know, like a different kind of game because you know, like they're playing Call of Duty and maybe they want to play something different. And this is different in in a way. Like it's not. Like, you have these massive maps, and you have these 32-player teams, and you're attacking points, and the other team defending points, and, you know, like, it's more like an actual war where you're kind of moving, like, not, like, just out in the open, like, you're kind of, like, making your way through cover and buildings, and, like, it's really cool, and, um... Like, I was never really... I, I'm a Twitch shooter kind of guy. Like, I like to play Call of Duty and Battlefield. Like, the games where you can just run out and jump over a wall and then blast a guy in the head with a handgun. Like, those are the only kind of shooters that I've really had experience with. But, uh, like, playing this, I didn't think I was going to like it. But, like... Like, because of those people who are like, telling me, like, you know, like, who's these fucks suck a dick? Like, you're not going to like that. Um, but, like, no, it's... It's really cool. Um, right now, it's five bucks on Steam. Um... The Rising Storm expansion pack is five bucks, but it comes with all of the multiplayer components of Red Orchestra 2. Um, Rising Storm is like the Pacific one where they f- you fight the Japanese and vice versa. You fight as the Japanese. Um, and Red Orchestra 2 is the Russians and the Germans and the, all that stuff. But um, you get it all if you buy Rising Storm. So that's five bucks now. For the Wait, is, is Rising Storm 
free still? Oh, yeah. There, oh, yeah. I should mention that. It's a free weekend, so it'll be yeah. free until, like, Sunday night or Sunday, no, Monday morning, maybe. So you have to pay for it when you listen to this podcast. Yeah, most likely. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Not just unless, like. unless I get real hard <laughs> coming up with this thing tomorrow. Um, <laughs> right after. Right out, Like, right after. I, I should, should do that, actually. A yeah, good one. I should do that. Um... Yes, I've been playing. I've been playing that a little bit because I've been hankering for like a multiplayer FPS and like one that's not Team Fortress Wait, or anything. You just bought Titanfall. Oh yeah, that's boring. <laughs> yeah. Well, hmm. the, the problem with Titanfall and like the problem with me in general is like I kind of need people to play with me. Um, otherwise, I'm just kind of sitting there in silence, just playing this game that other people are having fun playing with their friends, and I'm just like, yeah, I have none, and. Uh, Titanfall is not fun unless you're playing with one other person, cause like, like the stuff that happens in Titanfall is so big and like crazy and like you know crazy shit's happening and like you're just kind of sitting there going, "Whoa, did you see that?" And like no one's no one's listening to you, like no one's talking to you, like like you're my mom walking the <laughs> Hey mom, look at this shit! I fucking blew up a Titan and I jumped over his head and got into it. You know, like and nothing's really happening there. But um, uh, all my friends downloaded Red Orchestra too, so like it. It's so it's okay. It works, um, and I've been and I've been playing. Um, uh, well, this is gonna sound like redundant, um, cause like I have such an, a, a musical chairs of MMOs that it's like almost embarrassing. Uh, so what's it this week? Final Fantasy fourteen again. Uh, yeah. Warcraft next week. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll start WoW up closer. Did you get in the beta? Closer, what? Did you get into Wildstar beta, Bill? No, I'm not gonna play that shit. Oh, oh yeah, uh, right. I forgot you didn't like the what's <laughs> it? The design of it or something? Yeah, it bugs me, man. You know, and and I know, okay. and I know we have people who listen to this who like it. Um, I've seen their tweets. And, uh, that's okay, but that game does not look good to me. Like at all, um, and I hope I'm wrong, you know, but uh, I'm just not that kind of MMO person anymore to want to do like forty man shit. Like just like nah, like not today. Like I got the time to fucking do that anymore. Like back when I did WoW and like you know, the forty man stuff, like I was like twelve and like I didn't have shit to do. Like I, I come home from like school and like let's fucking do it. Like I didn't have shit to do. Like, I was 12. What the hell a 12 year old going to do? Besides, like, you know, get fit. But, but nope. I'm going to play WoW, baby. <laughs> Great. But, uh, like, Wildstar is, like, really heavy on, like, you know, we're going to do, like, hardcore endgame and stuff. But, like, I just... Uh, that it looks, looks like it was, like somebody shit out Jack and Daxter. Like, like it just looks really fucking weird. And, you know, I, I can't be close-minded on art design, but when I'm playing Final Fantasy where there's an armor set that's just like a bikini top. But, I mean, like, you know, Wildstar just... Even the even the gameplay footage I've watched, I mean, maybe it feels different when you play it, but it's just it's just MMO Exhibit C. Like, it doesn't really look like anything, like, people are shitting their shit over it. You know, like, um, I don't understand. Like... Maybe someone can clarify it for me, but I don't understand. Like, is it the promise of the hardcore endgame again from WoW that people are excited about? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It doesn't look like anything crazy to me. Um, uh, but yeah, so I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV again. And, um, uh, yeah. That's all you gotta say about that? Oh yeah, it's fun. It's great. It's uh, a <laughs> yeah. Uh. The the one thing that <laughs> one thing yeah. that made, yeah. like really get back into that was um. Uh, they made it so, um, you can join. There's like when you hit fifty, there's tons of shit to do. There's tons of like, fucking like single boss fights. There's, like the these trials. There's tons of uh, um, they have hard modes of all the four man dungeons, and there's the then there's a twenty four man like stopgap raid, which you don't really have to do anymore. And then there's the 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 Binding Coil of Bahamut, um, which is like the eight man, like you're gonna get your ass kicked raid. Um, and they always had it so that you needed a pre made to go into this. Um, so you needed to organize a group outside, eight people, bring them in from your guild or from trade chat or whatever the hell, 
Um, but they made it in the recent patch where you can queue up for it with a duty finder, which is always kind of appealing for me because, like, you know, like with World of Warcraft, they have the looking for raid system, which a lot of people hate on. Too casual, fucking suck a dick. Um, uh, which, you know, whatever. Like, you're getting lesser gear, so what's the big deal? Um, but I always like logging on and being able to just solo queue for this thing and just do it. Um, and that's the same deal with this. Like, you can just log on if you don't have a guild, you know, or you don't. It's a weird time of day. Where nobody's gonna do it, you can you can log on and sign yourself up, and then it'll put you into one automatically, which <coughs> appeals to me <coughs> a lot. Um, but the only thing with this is it's not like WoW's looking for raid where you're playing um, an easier version of the dungeon, you're still playing the hard version. So like people can't complain that it's too casual. It's just now nah, you just have a shitty group of pug players. But um, it's a uh, so it's appealing for me. Like it makes the end game more. Uh, available to me so i get into that i put elder scrolls online on hold for now um not a slight against the game it's just like i want to see where it's going first before i spend more money on it um because they're releasing this new adventure zone and i don't really know what it's going to be until i see it and there's still lots of bugs and i was really put off by the duping bug that was in elder scrolls i don't know if you guys heard of that no. um Somebody, a bunch of people found a way to dupe items and money in the game so they can just keep making this like their items and money over and over again. So they're just making themselves rich, like using a cheat. And I'm like, how the hell? Like, what the fuck? How the fuck does that happen? Like, and then Zenimax patched it and got rid of it. And then people found another one. Like, is there a code made of like Cheerios? Like, their game. <laughs> Their game broke in so many ways over the course of a week <laughs> that, like, I can't. I've never seen. And like MMOs release and they have bugs and you know, like, I, and like I, I, I excuse it. Like, you know, okay, there's a bug here, bug here, whatever. It's gonna happen. Guild Wars Two had bug skill points at the fucking ass. You go to do a quest or a skill point, and nope, it's bugged. We had to wait for uh, Arena Chat, Arena, not Arena Chat, Arena Net to make the to make a new build. Um, but with this, like, there's this shit breaking left and right, as if, like, like it's made of, like, just, like, cheap twine, and someone's fucking fat guy is sitting on it, and it's just busting. Like, they didn't expect this many people to be sitting on their goddamn rope. Um, that's the worst analogy ever. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Nobody sits on rope. Just for fun. But, uh, uh, Balance on the rope? Yeah. <laughs> Shit's just breaking on it. Left and right quests are bugged, like... Um, I, I think they fixed a lot of the quests, but, like, this the fact that shit like that is, like, having such a fast rate. It's like, what? Like, what? And, like, I, this is their first game ever, this developer. And you can tell it is. Like, and, I again, I talked, I talked last episode, you know, I like this game. But a lot of it feels, like, like, really amateur, like, in the way that they're handling things. Even their forum. Their forum is multi-language, um, multi-region forum, not divided by country. Uh, so you have a you have a list of all the topics, and there's one in English, there's one in Chinese, there's one in J like, like what the fuck? Just separate it. Like every, it's not hard to make a forum. I can do it. I can pay for a premium domain and make the permadeath forum, and have it be separated like a forum, with sections. Uh, they think they're trying to make their own. And it looks like a shit. It looks like a pile of shit. <laughs> looks like a shit. You can't go on there to get help because it looks, <laughs> looks shit. like a shit. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that's on hold for a little while because um, uh, I'm gonna wait and see where that goes. Final Fantasy knows where it's going, and so I'm gonna play that until a while expansion comes out. Um, see, so yeah, that's really about what I've been playing. That's like all multiplayer stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I pretty much like. I, I, you haven't played any games with us. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is true. Um, I've been playing, yeah. Like, the only thing I can really do is list. Like, I, I start, oh, I started playing the Half Minute, well, this is really exciting. Half Minute Hero, um, which is a ton of fun. I don't know if anyone knows what that is. Um, that's that 30 second RPG where. Oh! Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they like, they have a bunch of mini RPGs and they're all claimed to be like five minutes each with like all the quests being 30 seconds. And it's absolutely hilarious because, like, you start the game, and like, there's a boss at the end of every thirty second like quest, but like, you can't just go to the like rush the boss and fight him because you only have thirty seconds. You have to grind and buy equipment. 
all in 30 seconds. And it's fucking hilarious. And the dialogue's hilarious. It's such a ton of fun. I recommend it a lot. Yeah, that's that's been on, uh, on my wish list for a little bit. Yeah, so I've been playing that, too. Um, it's been all I've been playing. I think I'm noteworthy that I've been playing. Like, um, I can't think of anything else that like I've been putting a lot of hours into. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> so how about uh how about Yoku? Have you been playing any video games in between your in between your, your work? Uh, nothing really like that's that's recent. Nothing on Steam. I've been playing mainly just like some older PS2 games and stuff like that. I got like hooked up to uh my shitty TV in my room, like right by my bed. So I'd play like just like some old fighting games, play some Tekken. You know, get mad because I suck at it. <laughs> you know, some, that's pretty much all I've been doing. That's, that kind of sucks. I mean, like, I've been really busy with work. Mm-hmm. Probably everybody knows that. Um, we've been working, like, 14-hour days <laughs> for, like, a month now. So once I free up some time, there's a lot of games that I'm that I'm wanting to play. I, I actually already downloaded and I have ready um, to play uh, Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider game. That's that's something that's, that's nice. gonna be happening really soon. Uh, you guys play that? Any of you play that one? I've played it. Yeah, yeah I've played it. You completed it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How is it? Alright. Yeah. I've never played I'd never played a Tomb Raider game before, so I can't really compare it to the old ones, but I thought it was quite good. Oh, I have been a I've been a fan of Tomb Raider since I was like a kid on the PS one days, so I know I have um met people who have played it who have been really, really big into Tomb Raider games who have gone, No, nah, this isn't this isn't Tomb Raider. Well, I mean this it, isn't it isn't or whatever. Tomb I've seen I've seen like gameplay and it doesn't look like Tomb Raider. Like, yeah, the one just that don't I... expect a Tomb Raider game from it, I guess, which is really weird advice to give when going into it, but it's quite fun. I mean, what I want the biggest thing that I'm kind of uh, looking forward to it is just it's one of those games that isn't super long, but it has like a, a really good story. Like you'll get into mm-hmm. it and you'll just kind of play. Through. It's like. It's like gonna feel like playing through like Uncharted Two or something like that again, and I haven't <laughs> felt that in a while. You know, not not well, too big of a story, but yeah. To be fair, like I was invested enough in the story, and I'd never played a Tomb Raider game before. Um, you know, didn't really know who Laura was, just knew that she had an accent, like a bit like Laura mine. Croft. Uh, Croft. Laura Croft, and uh, you know, that was pretty much all I knew going into it. Like, oh, it's about this girl who raids tombs sometimes. well i think i think the good thing about this one isn't this one like kind of like a reboot like kind of like um, yeah it's like a prequel yeah. to all the other ones and doesn't really have any of the lore i guess from the older games and whatever I uh, as far as I've i been, know anyway i've been wanting to play this for ages and i bought it like one or two sales steam sales ago never got a chance to play it yet but i got yeah, it downloaded and ready I think you'll have fun with it. Um, uh, a couple other games I have downloaded: uh, Dust and Elysian Tale. That's something I've I've wanted to play because it looks it looks so good. Yeah, I've heard great things about Dust. So I've been wanting to play that for a long time, and I, I also <laughs> bought it on a Steam sale. Never got around to playing it. And uh, I also want to replay uh, Bastion. I played that one back when it when it just came Dude. out. Dude, that game is bomb. I played that. I don't know why I didn't beat that. I played it for like four hours. I'm right at the end, and I've been right at the end for two years. Yeah, I remember. You were like, I don't have to play through it. <laughs> I'm like, this game's great, and wow. I never fucking beat it. That game is great. It looks good, and it's it's just fun. It's a fun game. So that's pretty much what I'm planning to play instead of what I've really been playing. You'll have to let us know what you think of Tomb Raider because I'm super interested. Oh yeah, so you have I to can't. play it. I I want to I want to find like a day where I have nothing to do, one of, like one of these weekends, and I'm just gonna like sit and just beat it in one go. I haven't done that to since be fair, I though, beat Alan Wake. I did Alan Wake in like a 12-hour sitting. Cool. I think Tomb Raider and... Let me see how long I played on Tomb Raider 4. Because I never went back and did all of the like collectible things or whatever. But I heard it's just like feel... a 10-hour ten, ten hour, ten hour game or something. Is it? Uh, something like that. Come on, where are you? Tomb Raider. I played on it for 14 hours, apparently. So I'm either slow or I actually did go back and do some stuff. But... Yeah. I don't know. I, I liked it enough cool. to play 14 hours of it. <laughs> so. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, boom. Um, speaking of boom, Ryan, what you been playing? That's the, <laughs> speaking of boom. <laughs> I mean, that's his, that's his uh, like, I've been playing phrase. a lot of Hearthstone on the iPad. That's yeah, right. 
I've been playing a lot of Hearthstone on the iPad, which has been uh, fun, I guess. It makes my poops longer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know Taking things. longer dumps on the toilet. Let's be real. I remember playing that's Super Hexagon. I get dude. stuck that's there forever. You know what's alarming about that is like yeah, now, that, now that Hearthstone's on iPad, like I think maybe about like when you play it now, like ninety five percent of the people you're playing against now are probably shitting. Yeah. Like <laughs> probably. Yeah. Let's be real. And there's no there's yeah. no chat in that game, so you can't like <clears throat> you can't say like I'm pooping. Like you can't say that in the chat. Like I probably would. Uh that's probably, that's probably good. That's probably why they don't have chat in Hearthstone. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's on an iPad now. Yeah, everyone's a lot better. Everyone's going crazy. Showing. Everyone's going crazy about it again. <laughs> um, and I need I need to play it more. Um, but Kubo, you have to help me level up my 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 characters. Uh, in Hearthstone. On what? On Hearthstone? Yeah. By what? Just letting you win. Man or what? Yeah. <laughs> like, how would we do that? Because he can't win. Okay. Sucks. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, he keep taking repeated losses over yeah, and over again. None of my decks are level Sounds 10 like time. except the fucking mage. And, like, like leveling it up is so damn slow. Um, I must... I must what level yeah. do you unlock all, all the basic cards? 10. Like, 20? 10, isn't it? Oh, okay. All the what do you want unlocked? Everything. I think so. I, I don't want, know. I also want every class of 10. Because okay. they're all at, they're yeah, all we can at, do it. If, if you're ever playing video games, then yeah, we can. They're all at one. But, um, yeah. Hearthstone's good. I think the chat the chat being disabled is, like, the best thing they ever could have done um, for that game. Because, like, I mean, it, it, it wouldn't matter anyway because it's only 1v1. So, like, you're not disappointing anybody but yourself by playing shitty. But, like, even still, like, People are so scared, and I'm, I'm fucking scared to, like, really try to get into a MOBA because of the people. And, uh, like, this way, you turn on Hearthstone, and, like, you can play shitty, but, like, no one's gonna tell you you're playing shitty. Do you know you can turn off, uh, chat? You can disable chat? And yeah, but, like, but like I know someone's still typing it in so? on, on a MOBA. They but, might, okay, like, <laughs> but, it, but in Hearthstone, they might be yelling at their iPad. Like, and then, no, no, girl, like, like, come on. Like, well, well in, that, in that case, if they, instead While of, like, the toilet. Yeah, and instead of calling you a fucker, they would be like, "Yeah, you fuck you, you suck, fucker. I'm getting a W." But uh, because I mean, the only one you're helping is them by being a shit player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's no two, two, two. Yeah, that's true. Nah, but like I know, I know, uh, yeah, I know that there. Like when I mute the chat on a MOBA, I know that there's a fucking guy. He gives a shit, man. <laughs> still like typing in, and like you know, he's probably like he probably has no idea he's muted, but he's just like. This guy over here sucks. And like you know, I know it. And I, I, and like I know he's watching every one of my moves. Yeah, but who cares, um, man? Who like cares? I'm, under, I'm under the microscope of like Doom Sniper X or something like that. And he's just. I mean, I'm usually the guy that that in chat tells people they suck. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm, I know. The, I'm like the biggest dick in, in, yeah, when know. I play it League. Was, oh. It was it's so. That's like the best fun though. Like that. That's half the fun of a MOBA game is when like somebody sucks on your team, you just go crazy on them. Was... Or when you suck. And they go at you. You just fight back. Like, like. It, it was so funny because when we all like played Dota two or like even League that one time, all three of us, all three of us here, like you guys try to get me into it, and like you know here, it's, you know it's better when you play with friends. It's better when you play with friends. No one's gonna yell at you or anything. And we're playing it, and like <laughs> you guys, you know, you're giving me the pep talk. You know, you're gonna play it, and then like we have two people on our team because it's a five person team, and like you guys are like, oh yeah, it's better with friends, and then immediately. Yoko almost starts ripping on this kid because he sucks. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, he's one of those guys. He's one of those guys who makes me feel so bad. Yeah, it's... I'm the reason. Like, I'm the kind of reason why like people like Bill don't like to play robots. But I mean, uh, that, even fun, it's even more fun to, uh, to even <laughs> attack the other team when they like suck or when they're good. It's just, it's just a game to like argue. It's awesome. That's like it's, half the fun. Yeah, it's like playground basketball. Like, so, or when you're completely owning the other team, you just like ah, you noobs. Go. You just write noobs, and then they just explode on you. It's just writing noobs. <laughs> Man, it's fun. They explode on you, karma. No, you hear it here first. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of Hearthstone on iPad. Getting ready for adventure mode. Uh, yeah. Curse of Nax Ramus is coming out. Just looks awesome. 
that's coming so, out, and then I, I wonder how much the other uh, acts in that are going to be, because that scared me a little bit. Um, they, I don't know. They wanted to, to be really challenging, like, and, um, they found out, or I found out that you're not going to be using your own decks. They're going to give you a pre-made deck. Okay. Uh, um, so I think that's a way so that it's easier to play offline. Yeah. Um, and also so that they can tweak certain abilities or whatever. But you're not going to be able to make like, I don't know, some like stall mage deck and just like go in there and like just own it everyone but they said it's all of Nax Ram is pretty much on Hearthstone so it's like all like what 13 boxes were in Nax yeah. or something like that so it'll be pretty mm, crazy I mean, like but they don't want it to be something that we can blow through yeah I mean, like yeah each, each week, week another wing comes out which you have to pay for or with either gold or or, uh, or uh, real money uh, what real money yeah I wonder I wonder if it's gonna be really hard to get the, if it's gonna be a ton of gold um, so they're just gonna force you to pay real money for it I'm glad, that's what I'm nervous about. Well, yeah. Well, an arena arena pass is either 150 gold, which is a pack and a half, or t- two bucks, right? Yeah. So I don't know. I think it's gonna be probably like 2.99. That's my guess to like unlock it or like 3.99, right? Yeah. So I don't think it'll be that much more than arena. I mean, I guess if you can like. I hope what they come out with is I. Like... Oh, go ahead. Uh, I guess I, I guess if you can keep repeating it and like. Like, what do you get for beating a wing? Do they say like money or anything? There's exclusive. There's well, yeah, you get gold and stuff, and there's also I think like sixty cards or something that can only be obtained through this, like through this mode. Um, and most of them are just like Nax Ramus like type cards, but a lot of them have like Death Rattle, um, which for people who don't know, Death Rattle is like it does something when it dies. When this card dies, draw, draw two cards or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. So apparently there's a bunch of death rattle cards that will only be in that will only be obtainable through uh, adventure mode. Okay. But, but, yeah. I want to ask. I want to ask. I think, do you need your you'll, battle. I think you'll like it, Bill. Account? Do you need battle.net accounts too? Yes. Yeah. Shit, yes, man! You, I still need to get that fixed. <laughs> well, okay. Fix it. You technically, you technically don't for like the iPad. Like it asks you, like, do you want to sign in with your battle.net or like, what do you want to do? Do you want to make a new account? And you can opt out not to, but it does warn you, like, okay, well, none of the cards you get are going to be, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's they're connected. Like, across all platforms, they con- like, that type oh, of stuff. Oh, shit, they're cross-platform. Uh, yeah, baby. I'll fix that. I'll fix it one. Yeah, they're, they're, they're cross-platform, so. I mean, I can, I, build, I can play a game. We talked about this battle that iPad. Man. The battle.net game. thing that I have I haven't fixed that I think that was like an episode one right? We yeah. about. What is this? Uh, this is the same thing. This is the same as episode one, just with a zero. So. Yeah, episode one and zero. It hasn't been that long. Full so. fucking circle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's pretty you know. much all I've been playing. It's all I've been having time for uh, to play. I've been really busy lately. I think everyone has. It seems like at least. Yeah. Hey, could, yeah. Do, you, do you have like a fan blowing in your mic, kind of? No. Why are you trying to move it? Do you guys, my window's do you guys... slightly open, but there's no... I hear... A... Yeah, it was like, a, it was like, a, it was like a wind. It was like a cool breeze <laughs> happening. In... <laughs> <laughs> so it's like... <clears throat> I was blowing in my mic to make it sound more epic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, while simultaneously talking, it was incredible. Yeah. It's <laughs> a miracle it's like he's in a cave uh. <laughs> um <laughs> the struggle is real i'm in a cave recording a podcast right now but yeah I do cool. You guys. cool hearthstone <coughs> oh man i got that fucked up. <laughs> um <laughs> bill is so tired right now <laughs> uh <clears throat> i know ebby has a lot to talk about I got loads to talk about. Yeah. Um, what should I start with? Let's start with Assassin's Creed 2, because I've still been playing that game. And that's a long game. I didn't realize how long Assassin's Creed 2 actually was. But it's really long. Because I thought, oh, I must, must be getting to the end. I don't really remember much after this. And apparently I'm not really near the end. So <laughs> I've been playing it for like... Does it say on Steam or does it not? Oh shit! Oh, yeah. I have Assassin's Creed. I'm gonna I'm gonna download that as well. Have it ready. 
Well, I've been playing it for 33 hours and I've not finished it yet. Damn. Damn. I don't know. I don't know if that combines like another playthrough or anything. Yeah, but... yeah, it does. it does. I think it combines like your all-time stats on Steam. But 33 hours of running around Italy, climbing buildings, finding feathers is awesome. I really love that game. Please play Assassin's Creed 2 if you have it. <laughs> I have it. I bought it just just to play it. Just, just, just play you get it. that download in, and then as oh, soon as gee. you finish, as soon as you finish Tomb Raider, you can be like, I can trust Debbie's opinion. I mean, like if it's you said like 30 hours. That's a. Well, that's a, that's I, a I'm doing, right I'm doing all the things. Like you don't have to find all the like map points. And you don't have to do all of the assassin tombs and whatever, but I've been doing all of those, so I've been doing all the side stuff as well. It's nine gigabyte. <clears throat> it does have that problem, sort of like Far Cry, where you open your map and you're like, oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, yep. no. Oh, no. Um, especially when you... Because I don't remember before buying the treasure map, so I was like, let's buy a treasure map. And it just put tons more stuff on the map and I was like oh well now I have to go and get all of that I don't need money and it's only gonna be money but I can't <laughs> leave my map like that because it looks <clears throat> awful and looks like I haven't even touched the game so yeah I'm the same way so I'm scared I think you'll enjoy it it's way better than one although I do sort of want to oh, go yeah, back and play that's, one that's now that's what I, did. I played only one back on PS3 yeah. I certainly want to go back and play that I have it on Xbox, but I don't have it on Uplay, so I'm sort of hoping summer sale, since spring sale is apparently not a thing, Assassin's Creed 1 will be super cheap, because I would like to purchase it. It's probably going to be like two bucks, probably. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I'd be happy to sense? pay that for it. Yeah, it does. It's real bad, but I sort of want to play it again, because I've been really getting into Assassin's Creed lately. More so than usual, I suppose. Um, and I'd like to get Brotherhood and not Liberation, Revelation. I'd like to get those two on my computer as well, because then I can get rid of all my Xbox copies of them, which would be good Boom. news. Boom! Sell them for potato salad. Oh, man. I ate so much potato I hate, salad I hate, before this podcast. I hate potato <laughs> salad. Ooh, your grandma was Well, it's a good reported. job you weren't in the conversation. Yeah. Last when time. we were talking about potato salad. How much we all, how much my, we all my like brother, it. My brother is a big <clears> fan. Yeah. He buys maybe like you buckets. just... And I'm like, oh. Maybe you just had bad potato salad. Because yeah. I just say, I mean, there is a difference. Oh my god, my posters are falling salad. off my walls. Oh my god, be right back. I always heard that. Did you hear that poster that, fall? <laughs> that happens a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just straight <coughs> up. Hey guys. The walls are made out of cheese. There's um, I have four. I don't know if if you're in, if you're if you're near Steam inventory, you guys got them as well. But I have four keys to Dead Island Epidemic, which is a zombie MOBA, um, based around the game Dead Island. That Why is a, do you have four keys? They just gave them to me. Apparently, it's very fun. Do you guys want them? Holy shit! Four keys. That's like our whole podcast. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Turn. Like. Hey, we it's can like play that on a live stream or something. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. And it's oh. and it's oh okay yeah it's three teams of four who play, um and you grab supplies and control points and all that stuff and but it plays like a, it's like MOBA controls but I guess it's a different kind of. It's called gameplay. Dead Dead Island what? Epidemic. Dead. It actually looks kind of fun. I assume the creeps are zombies. Um. No, it looks. Is it gonna it be more look... fun than Dead Island was? That's the question. It's like over the top looking. I mean, like over the top. I uh, Dead Island was kind of a poopy game, but um, playing it with friends made it a little more fun. Like I liked playing co-op on Dead Island, one because it's the ultimate just stick around game. Like look at how bad this is, kind of game. Yeah, but single player was super boring. And yeah. The combat was all like didn't feel good. Yeah, it's the Borderlands effect for me. Um, like I can't play Borderlands solo. I'll fucking snooze. Um. Like it's, that's why I haven't beaten any Borderlands games yet because everyone I play them with fucking abandons me. Seventeen hours in, um, it's like okay, we got that far. We can we just beat it. Like please, like. like. No, I had the same problem with my um. <laughs> Like it happened with Borderlands. I don't know why I did this. It happened with Borderlands One with the same with the same group of friends, 
And then, like, oh, what's my Borderlands 2? I heard it's better. Okay, okay it's probably the same fucking game, but let's beat the first one. But, all right, I'll buy two. I was on sale. Oh, 20 hours in. Oh, whatever. I'm just fucking done. All Does right. Does everybody have Borderlands 2 here? I have Borderlands 1. <laughs> we should, we should all get two. Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 it goes for, like, five, seven bucks or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I would even play through the first one again because I never beat it. Um, so uh, well, like, the second one is much better. I mean, like, story-wise and everything, I'd rather play the yeah. second one. But you I know mean, what? If it goes on sale in summer, I'll buy it. Yeah, we should play. Uh, that's a four-player co-op as well, man. That's like, it's perfect. We have like. We got the perfect number of people on this podcast. Yeah. Uh, any game, except for oh, League, we need another oh guy. Gosh. Here we go again, spending too much money. <laughs> it's probably yeah. never gonna happen. We're never gonna play Borderlands Two together. Abby, yeah, we'll be like, <laughs> okay, yeah, we can play these games. Abby's yeah, the right. only one who has to buy it, so. Yeah, if she buys it, it's all it's all well, in it was, her hands. It right? was really cheap last sale, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, it was like seven bucks. It was, so even, you, you might not even have to wait for a sale. Like Games is going to sale regularly now, uh, randomly. If it goes on sale for like a reasonable price that I'm like, yeah, I'm happy to pay that, then I'll buy it. But really? we need to play Left 4 Dead first. Yes. Yeah, Left 4 Dead anytime. I love Left 4 yeah. Dead. Thank you. Because I, I had it downloaded and I was like, I just play a bit of it. And then I realized how stupid the AI is and it makes me sad. So It's horrible. Yeah, it's it's just like the fucking AI in Payday 2. I was playing Payday 2 with um, with a buddy last night. And I figured, you know, I don't really feel like playing with randoms right now. It's late. Let's just try and do a bot game quick and just play with two bots. Um, and oh my god, the fucking AI is retarded. Like they don't even—they don't—they don't even shoot any enemies. They're just firing their guns. They don't aim anything. Like they just fire their guns and do nothing. And there's instances in Payday 2 where you have to take bags of the money or whatever you're stealing or like you know like whatever you're smuggling and carry them to the escape vehicle. And there are times where there's three or four bags. And when you're playing with people, all of you guys can grab a bag. But when you're playing with fucking AI, apparently whoever fucking made that game. Decided not to let the AI pick up any fucking bags. Oh, it's just you. <laughs> so, like, I was playing with a buddy yeah, and, like... Running was, back and forth. Yeah, there were four yeah. bags. And we had to grab the bags and throw it across. Go pick up another one and toss it across the map. And it's like, okay, what if I'm a guy who doesn't play with anybody? Okay? There's an option to play that game offline. Well, apparently, it's not going to fucking work. And you're going to have the worst time ever. Because you're going to have to run back and forth yourself and pick the bags up while a bunch of robots shoot the sky. Um, and I, I think it's, it works the same for Left 4 Dead. Like, the AI just sucks ass. Like, but, like, how come the computer-controlled SWAT team can shoot me in the head? No problem. But the computer-controlled players suck. Why can't they shoot the enemy in the head? No problem. Well, I mean, this game is made only for, like, to play multiplayer with other people. It's not made for you to play by yourself. Yeah, I so mean... So, it's, it, you can, like, it's better off joining some random game than, than playing with the... Computer. Yeah. I never or... join random games because I just don't want to. I've joined um, random games before, and you can click a button to speak, and then you just like yell at them as well because they suck. It's, it's fun. <laughs> oh my God! There's so much DLC for Borderlands 2. What the fuck? There is. There's like a million, at least, maybe two. But I had an experience with um, Left 4 Dead. Sorry, just <laughs> go back to this. Um, I had an experience with Left 4 Dead where I was being constricted by a smoker, and. Uh, the AI just sort of left me to die. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, thank you. you. <laughs> you for dead. Later. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess that's the point of the name of the game. Yeah. Left yeah. for dead. I was, in fact, left for dead. Two. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, two. Yeah, the AI stinks. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah. Um... Going back to Borderlands 2, Borderlands 2 has like four pages of... DLC yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? There's $154 of the DLC. Is it like costume packs? Yeah, a lot of costume, yeah. a lot of uh, different characters, a lot of gun packs. And Can I just Actually, say, I... I hate that you have to pay for costume packs now. What is that about? I hate you, can actually, you can buy it's other really classes as well. I think there's a couple of different classes yeah, you can I, buy. I, I, I miss being able to um, like, like after you beat a game and unlock all the cool... Mm -hmm. Outfits and stuff. Yeah, now, like for Spider Man, you guys play Spider Man on PS One. You unlock it. You can like play as just normal <laughs> Peter Parker. Yeah. You can play as like, like him with a garbage bag on his head in the underwear. That was like, that was fun. Fun days. Yeah. No more. I've no only ever like bought that. one one costume, and that was for Sleeping Dogs because I'd already bought Sleeping Dogs, but Steam fucked up really bad, and everything on like uh, everything for Sleeping Dogs 
was about 90 to 95 percent off so the game went from being 30 quid to being two pounds something or something ridiculous and it was the same for all the dlc so i was like i'm gonna buy a 10p costume pack and it's gonna be great i can't wait for this most disappointing money i've ever spent in my entire life there you go yeah that 10p i mean luckily (laughs) that that 15 cents luckily with borderlands 2 (coughs) they have like you, I don't think you really have to spend the hundred fifty bucks on the DLC. Like they have the season pass, you can just buy for thirty bucks. That gives you all of it, I think. Um, or it just gives you the major story DLC. That's probably what it gives you. Which, yeah, I think I is, have a couple of the DLCs that I bought. Yeah, which is all you really need, I guess. Like everything else is just like everything else is a buck. So I mean, I guess if you really want something, it's a buck. But oh, and I have the psycho psycho class. You can play as like, a psycho. It's just really daunting to open up the DLC tab and see. This massive list of DLC, even if it's just small stuff, like holy shit! Oh well, Payday's pretty God. bad for that as well. Oh, I can't, too. I can't fucking stand that. You know, here's why I can't fucking stand that because I pre-purchased that game with three of my friends. You bought the four pack, um, and we were told we had the season pass. We would get all the DLC. It comes with the DLC. Well, it came with one free fucking downloadable content, Armor Transport Pack, and then they start releasing these $5 gauge weapon packs that you have to buy. And I'm like, what? What? Fuck you. What happened to all the free shit I was supposed to get from the goddamn pre-order? Like, you lied. And so I haven't bought any of the weapon packs because, one, I believe shit like that should be fucking unlocked, and two, they're $5 for, like, a grenade and, like, two guns. Are you shitting yourself? Like, what the fuck is the matter with you? Like, well, this is the problem. They're probably making a fortune off of it. Yeah, people buy that shit yeah. like without even thinking. And the thing is, I love Payday too, and I'm, I'll probably end up getting the DLC when it's on sale because the DLC goes on sale for like a buck all the time. But like, 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 still, like, what the fuck? Like, that's so dumb. Like. Mm. And, like, the problem is, is gauge weapon pack number one. Then they made gauge weapon pack number two. And since they're numbered, there's probably going to be a gauge weapon pack number three. Like... Can you imagine if Nintendo did DLC and you had to, like, pay to unlock different types of Pokemon or something? (laughs) Pokemon pack! Here we go! Oh, man. Can you imagine that? Just... It'd be horrible. You know... I don't think I would play that game. I I wouldn't... I wouldn't play it if they... The sad thing is, I know I still would. Because we I all really know like Bill Pokemon. Play yeah, because he doesn't too. even play Pokemon X. Yeah, I didn't beat it. I mean... Not yet, because you're going to go back and play it, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sure, um, why not? Um, I mean, Pay It 2, in their defense, they release a lot of free heist updates. Um, but, I mean, like, also, like, it's just kind of odd DLC model. They have the free ones, and then just release these odd $5 weapon packs in between. And it's like, all right, well... The shit, the high stuff should be five bucks. No weapon pack should be free. Like, I'll pay five bucks for a stuff that's meaty, like stuff that actually has shit in it. But like, don't sell me weapons. Um, speaking of like Nintendo and DLC, like Fire Emblem has a lot of DLC. Um, Fire Emblem Awakening has a ton of it, a yeah. fuck ton of it. I mean, but the good thing about Fire Emblem's content is it's kind of post game stuff, like, um, just side stuff. That like you could do if you like the game. Like there's one where it's like a beach episode of Fire Emblem, and like everyone's in bikinis, and like, there's not really a, there's barely any fighting. Like it's just all character interaction. Um, but it's expensive. Like it's like five six bucks a pack, and maybe last year an hour and a half. Um, so that's the only Nintendo game I, mean, I know that has extensive downloadable content. It's like a lot of it. Um, I don't I don't know how I feel about DLC when it's not decent. Like you... I think. What? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Mine's like a different. Mine's like a different. Could you imagine if Animal Crossing had tons of downloadable content? That's the thing. I'd buy it because I'm stupid. <laughs> Worst. <laughs> oh, oh, like, oh, buy buy a pack that lets you lets you lower your debt. Woo! Dude, if they did like pay real money for bells, I'd be all over that. Yeah, like if if Animal Crossing was run by any other company, it would be littered with microtransactions. I know it would be. That's a perfect kind of game. It's, for that. Yeah, because it's so easy to modernize that, and it and people would pay. Like, um, like oh, here's a here's a pack that changes your home fruit. People would fucking. Oh my god! Eat that shit up, man! Like, oh, because just... because then that would be a bell maker. Because then you can collect all of your native fruit. 
and then buy the pack to change your native fruit. So when the fruit you just picked is now foreign fruit, and that foreign fruit will sell for more money at your Tom Nook shop. Oh, no, it's not By the way, shop anymore. It's, please, yeah. please open your gates at some point because I really need to get rid of the 30 stacks of perfect apples I've got yeah. just is sitting that, around. Does that mean 30 whole inventory <laughs> halls full of yeah. them? Yeah. That's a lot As of in, apples. You know how you can stack oh, fruit now? Oh, yeah, that's right. You can stack them. So you can stack them up to nine. So I've got nine times about 30. Hot damn. So I want to know how much money I'm going to get for it, basically. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> I hope so. I need to pay off my mortgage. I need more room. Because I just... Oh, no, I'm not getting into this yet. Carry on. <laughs> no, no, no. I I'll like pay to off my it. mortgage. <laughs> I'd like to hear about your Animal Crossing adventures. Yeah, go ahead. You've been holding off. I already have. I was going to talk about Game Dev Tycoon first, but no, I want to talk about Animal Crossing. Uh, so I found Animal Crossing, found my cartridge for Animal Crossing, and I was like, oh, that sounds like a fun time. Maybe I'll play on it for an hour. And it's been a week since then, and I've, I'm at least a month forward of where I was. And I wasn't feeling very well the other day, and I was like, oh, just playing a bit of Animal Crossing until I feel better, and then I'll make some food, and I'll, you know, whatever, I'll feel better. And then it got dark outside, and I had realized that I'd spent literally all day just playing on Animal Crossing. The perfect medicine. Yeah, and I didn't feel any better, so it didn't really work out. Because <laughs> I was just hungry and malnourished by the end of it. Um, but yeah, Animal Crossing. I really like that game. And I don't know why. It's one of those things. Like, I bought a 3DS for it. That's my, that was my driving force. Yeah, I got, I was, like, really angry last summer. Like, for, like, a month. <laughs> It was like the dark mill times, and I'm like, I need to do something for myself. I need to buy a 3DS. Because so I, I came out of fucking left field. Like, yeah, I just need to buy this. You and... know, I'm considering buying an XL. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really considering it because the Yoshi one, or the Yoshi one, whatever. Yoshi. I can't do Yoshi. Oh, you lost for Yoshi. Lost. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's the best I got. Um. There you go. His, his. Um, the Yoshi XL at the minute is about 30 to 40 pounds cheaper than most of the other special edition ones and the same price as a normal one. So, I kind of want to buy that really bad. So I'm considering I, that because I, I really like it. I Yoshi. recommend it. It's it looks cool. I mean, if you're a Yoshi fan. I might buy it as well. <laughs> you buy what? You fucking. Yeah, like, you might buy you it. Like, they already got it. You have like three 3DSs. Fucking. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> well, I mean, these special editions look so cool. Yeah. But... Dude, you I really wanted the Zelda one. I really wanted the Zelda one. I the really Zelda wanted one the Zelda one too. So... Yokorama has like both Pokemon ones. Both Pokemon special edition 3DSs. He has like a regular one. Dude. Do you not have the Fire Emblem one? No, I don't. There's a fire involved. Call yourself a fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine like buying every single like 3DS out there. I bet someone has. I don't doubt that someone has all of them. All yeah, of the Yoshi special edition so ones. Cool. I mean, like, yeah. I could pretty much buy this Yoshi one and just sell the one I have. Nah. Almost the same amount. Let's have a look. 3DS. Um, and then like to be honest. The the XLs aren't that much more expensive than the normal ones anymore. But there are a million times better. Oh, Yoshi's Island, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this. Don't buy that game, apparently it's awful. Yeah, I've apparently heard, it's I've, I've really heard bad. Yeah, which, like is awful? Kind of, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, apparently Yoshi's New Island is terrible. How is How can that... I don't know what Nintendo did to make... How can, like, Yoshi's, Yoshi's Island, Island and Terror be in the same sentence? I... Yeah, I know. I don't know what they did, but apparently it's really bad. No one has anything nice to say about that game. I don't know why. I don't get it. <laughs> but let's, let's be real here. The only reason I want to buy an XL is because of A, Animal Crossing, and B, I'm all about Tomodachi, uh, Tomodachi life. I cannot that... wait for that game. Have you not seen it? No, is that like Tamagotchi? No, it's like where you put <laughs> me's. You put you, like me's. Like you can put me's and stuff. Tamagotchi? 
into a town and you like buy them stuff to make them happy and whatever. It's like Animal Crossing, but with me. It's so stupid. <laughs> right, it sounds really dumb, and I was looking at it, and I was like, this looks so yeah. stupid, but this I really so want to play this. That's dumb, but that's... Yeah. <laughs> Tamagotchi six. life, though. Tamag... Oh, oh man. Tom Tomodachi. Tamagotchi life. Tamagotchi life. Uh, they, they did a whole... They did your a whole, friends, like, um... your drama, your life. They did a direct on it, and it was the stupidest thing. Um... Because there was this scene where it was... Who was it? It was Shigeru Miyamoto. The me version, obviously. Shigeru Miyamoto, uh, Iwata, and Reggie all fighting over, you know, their love for Samus and who would get to be with her. And it was really funny. <laughs> I don't know why. I just think it looks awesome. But anyway, back to Animal Crossing. <laughs> um... It totally absorbs your life. If I went to... Um, this was a thing that I actually wanted to bring up, though. Um, I went to... I'm probably going to say a name wrong, and I'm really, really sorry, but Thalia? Mm -hmm. How you say her name? Yeah, I didn't say Okay. I went, I went to her town. And her town is, like, completely different to mine. Because she has obviously invested time in the public works projects and stuff where I haven't that's about the only thing in that game that I've not really gotten that into her town's amazing uh, she has things that I didn't know existed she has a lost and found center didn't know what? those existed <clears throat> what right <laughs> just saying oh um, and now you want to have that as well so I really do because play it even more. because but the thing is, right, the thing that pisses me off about Animal Crossing, if I'm going to be real, is that everything is so random all the time. Yeah. Uh, so, for example, I had been playing the game for about a year, and for the first time the other day, I got a visit from Red. Hey! I'd never had him visit before. Isn't he? Um, oh no, I did. He's just fine art now. I think he just sells art. Yeah, he just comes in a tent on your town square every so often yeah. to just sell one real painting and three yeah. fake ones. Um, so yeah. there's a way to differentiate them. So I had to look up the guide because I really <laughs> needed to get it right because I didn't know that he was going to come back and I yeah. wanted the museum upgrade. Um, and I was over the moon when he finally visited. But the way that you get the lost and found center or the police station or whatever it is is that you just have to wait for one of your vi villagers to suggest it, and that might never happen. So it's kind of like luck? Well, yeah. Really uh, it's one of the things that still pisses me off about that game. Like, to get the final upgrade on the, uh, the Nooklings shop, you have to pass four of Gracie's fashion checks. Um... And she's a random occurrence, <laughs> so she might appear three times and then not come back again for a while. See, that's how they keep you playing. But I've got the yeah. upgrade to the museum now, because I got the painting right. So I've upgraded the museum and you get exhibit rooms and a gift shop, which is really, really cool. Um, because I had like, you know the fortune cookies that you get? Yeah. Where they give you like a Nintendo item or whatever. Um, I had tons of those and had nothing to do with them, so I just put them in an exhibit room and I've got a Nintendo exhibit in my museum now. Holy hey. oh, shit, you um, do that? <clears throat> yeah, when you... Uh, right, let me get this right. When you donate 20 things to your museum um, with at least one item in each thing, so one bug, one fish, one fossil, and one painting, and then you donate, like, 20 things, you get the option to upgrade the museum as a public works project um, and that that finally happened because red finally appeared and you get four exhibit rooms upstairs where you can make your own museum exhibits basically and they also sell silver uh, tools and stuff like silver fishing rods and silver <clears throat> bug nests and stuff which is really helpful um what else <laughs> I think that's it. Damn. 
Animal Crossing is so good. Like, I, I've need lost to, my I need to play it more. I stopped playing after a while because I was just logging on to get the um, dig up the dig up the fossils, uh, buy some hats, catch some yeah. bugs in the island, and that was another thing as collect well. Collect fruits, of course. Yeah. You had the uh, vacation island, yeah. didn't you? Forgot about that. Hell but, yeah! Hey, there's so many things to get into in that game. Oh my gosh! Earned. This must be dead. <laughs> what? There's just. Oh, your villagers. Yeah, same There's... here. I haven't turned it on in like. I said all my villagers are dead, man. Like it's been like six. I was... six months since I turned it on. They probably all moved out, set fire to the town, whatever. You know what I mean? I think I completely lucked out because the time had reset on my 3DS in the time that it had taken me to find the cartridge. So I just put the actual date in, and no one had moved out. Boom. I hadn't played the game in like nine months or something. So, wow, has it really uh, been that long since it came out? Came out in June, didn't it? June last year. Yeah, around that time. Yeah, so it would have been about nine months since I last turned it on. So I think I lucked out with that. But um, there's so many things to get into in that game. Um, like you can be the fisherman, or you can, you know, be a really good mayor. You can have your house, you can do the bird catching thing, you can make fruit trees, you can expand all your stores in the high street and whatever. It's so much to do. Um, you can even do flower breeding. And this is the thing, I've gotten into everything in that game, apart from making my town really nice. So, Which is the main point <laughs> of the game. Yeah, my town's like a piece of shit. Like, I, I didn't play that much when I got it. I'm like, I bought the 3DS for Animal Crossing, but I ended up buying a bunch of other games and playing them instead, like, for the most part. Mm. And my town's, like, a piece of shit. Like, it's a random bench. Like, just, like, I put as a public ordinance. It was, like, just a fucking lamp. Like, a post. Just, like, yeah. somewhere. Like, I said, oh, I'll put it here. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, there's a bit. my town is, like, a fucking... It's, it's fucking gross. You, you should visit my town. Don't pick my weeds because I'm waiting for the sloth to come and give me furniture for picking weeds. But... That fucking sloth doesn't give me the option to <laughs> my town. I swear to God, I went to talk to him to see if he'd yeah. be like, oh, the town really needs weeding or whatever, and he just he had an option to talk about weeds. I didn't do it, but He's a piece I assume of that's He's a piece of how... Shit. Leaf is a piece of shit. Hey, Leaf's the best character. He's a Leaf's fucking asshole. He doesn't do what he's no. supposed to do. No, he's the only Animal Crossing <laughs> character that's got fingers that move, so he's the best. <laughs> he's a fucking... <laughs> It's, like, obnoxious how excited I get about returning characters in that game as well. Because I unlocked the cafe, and you get Brewster. Yeah. It's, uh, like, is he a pigeon? I don't really know. I don't know what he is. He's a bird anyway, and he yeah. makes coffee. And when he came into my town, I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, it's Brewster. He's going to keep my little dancey things that I'd never remember. Gyroids, is that it? Hell yeah. He's going to keep all of those for me one day when I make really good friends with him. And he's going to put pigeon milk in my coffee. It's going to be great. <laughs> I got so excited about it. It was so silly. But yeah, Animal Crossing. Love that game. But no one plays it anymore, so I can't go and visit anyone's town. I'll start. I'll start um, firing it up. Yeah, I'll turn it. I'll turn it on. It's been like too long. Just to clean my yeah. town. At least. Ne next next episode, we'll have to do damage. Sort of what damage happened while you were gone. <laughs> who left? The animal. The Animal Crossing yeah, really. report. Okay, I, I'm probably going to be playing on Animal Crossing for a little bit more, and then I'll get bored of it and lose it again. I imagine, because that's the cycle with Animal Crossing games. Yeah, you know, like I, I, I bought it, um, and I thought I was gonna end up playing it. Like I played the first one on GameCube more than like, like just so much time. Like is there, I spent like a whole summer doing nothing, playing Animal Crossing and Morrowind. Like that's all I fucking did, and uh, I felt like I was gonna do that when I bought this one, and I didn't, and I felt really bad about it for myself because I didn't do it, and. Because it was like, I bought it right on the cusp of its release, so everyone was just starting out in their villages online and everything, and I'm like, fuck yeah, I just get right in on this, and now uh, play with people and have so much fun, and I didn't. It's the first time I've ever done anything with the Wi-Fi thing, because I know you could do it on the Wii one, 
because you got Wii Speak with it and whatever. But connecting the Wii to the internet at my university was horrible and impossible, so I just never did. Yeah. Because um, I was living at university at the time, and they had like this big list of instructions for connecting like Xboxes and stuff to the internet, and it was no good. <laughs> so. I never did that. So it's been really exciting to be like, I'm going to go visit my friend's town and I'm going to steal all their villagers. Yeah, I remember, like, I, I, I mentioned on a previous episode how I was really active on the Nintendo forums back when the DS first came out. Well, I was still active around the time Animal Crossing Wild World came out. And I, like, I was on, like, the, the Animal Crossing Wild World section of those forums. And, like, I had people come to my village and help me pick my weeds bunch of strangers and in return oh no wait, this isn't even in return they just i i the guy had a cavalier hat on and i wanted it very bad and i'm like dude could you order that for me and he did on his, from his town catalog and gave it to me for free and picked my weeds and i never <laughs> did anything for any of those people and it's then they just left That's and i'm awesome. like and i'm like holy shit those are probably, those I, think, kids, like I don't think the old. Animal Crossing community is going to be like full of assholes though, because it's Animal Crossing. Can you imagine how like, hilarious that would be if it was? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining it. I'm now. gonna dig holes everywhere. <laughs> Fuck you, pitfalls. Yeah, if you could oh shit talk God. in Animal Crossing, I'd totally shit talk. <laughs> I, think you, I think you can. Oh my gosh. If you, well, I mean, I'll be like the. That's like the biggest dick, though. Shit talking in Animal Crossing. Like, if you you can join someone's game and start calling them a fucker. I mean, unless, I don't think that's ever happened in Animal Crossing. Unless it bleeps it out. They. Yeah, oh yeah, it's Nintendo. Man. You get the you get the like megaphones now, don't you? So you can shout with yeah. people. I never bought one of those. But oh, I love Animal Crossing so much. It does make me wonder, like, where are they gonna take this now? What are they going to do with Animal Crossing that could be any different, like... Yeah. I mean... Oh, I was teaching my dad how to play it as well, and it was adorable. Because <laughs> <laughs> my dad was the one who got me into games, and he'd never played on a, a normal DS or anything. Yeah. And I was like, oh, look at the 3DS, and he was, like, playing with the, three, the 3D and stuff. And he went, can I get the apples out of those trees? And I'm like, yeah, you can. And I was teaching him how to play it, and it was the best thing in the world. I was so happy. <laughs> I don't know why I just got really happy when I was, like, teaching him how to play stuff. But he wasn't very good at it. And I was like, you know when you were teaching me how to play games? Was it this bad? And he was like, no, it was worse. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking Animal Crossing. Fun. I have a bit of game dev tycoon stuff to talk about as well. Do it. Do it, because then I can talk about game dev story. Okay, well, I was playing on Dame, Dame Dev. Dame Dev. I'm really good at words this time today. Um, I was playing on Game Dev Tycoon yesterday, and they've updated it a bit since I last played on it. Um, and I don't get it. It's really hard now, because you can do research into your games and figure out what works and what doesn't on what platforms, and what, like, age rating works with certain things. It's really weird. It's so it's probably a good thing, but it's really hard. Yeah. Because you go from it being, like, super simple, you know, did all my years, made a fortune, but I, I, can't, I can't do it. It's really hard. <laughs> I got really far in that game. I made an MMO. The MMO failed. And I just kind of... Did, we, did I talk about this before? I think you mentioned the MMO thing. I've never gotten to the point of making an MMO before. Yeah, my, my company is really successful, really successful series. Made an MMO, MMO failed. I don't know why I failed. They got great reviews, tons of sales. People just stopped playing it. Um, so I made an expansion pack. Everyone bought it. People stopped playing it for two weeks. And so I had to close the servers down because the game was too expensive to maintain. And I don't understand. It's got to be broken. Like yeah, that, that function of Game Dev Tycoon has to be broken. Well, I don't makes... know if they might have fixed it now since it seems to have been overhauled a little bit. It oh makes... my god, shut up. So the guy revved his engine. <laughs> That's just what happens at this time. Should have mentioned. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's like, it's got to be broken. Like, there's no way you have a successful MMO. You sell it. Like, there's nothing you can do in the game to like, like make content patches or anything to keep people playing it. So like, that you would expect like when you sell like 10 million copies, 
those 10 million people are going to play the game for more than a week and pay your monthly fee, but they don't. And then you release an expansion pack, and then like you retain at least 7 million of those original people. And then you just start, your money just depletes so fast by maintaining the servers that it's absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, I was kind of angry about that. Um, mm. Yeah. So, so uh, what's your company's name? Uh, it's Panda Bishonen. Uh-huh. Because wow. I wow, took that's two so, things that I like. So, and I made them. so predictable, gosh. <laughs> yeah, last time it was like Panda Softworks because I wanted to do like a little bit of a take on uh, Bethesda Softworks for some reason. I don't know why, but because um, they're just a publisher. They aren't even a game studio. Yeah, but there's the games. games. But if I made it like Panda Game Studio, that just sounds really lame. So I made it Softworks because it sounded a bit better. But, yeah, mine, mine is for some reason. I don't know why. I made GTU Soft, which is my band. But <laughs> then I decided that company failed. I fucked that company up. So I, for some reason, made another one called Hitsock. And I have no idea why they're called Hitsock. But they are they're really successful. Um, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I'm really waiting for them to add Steam Workshop support. Like they said fucking they were going to, like, five months ago. Because um, there's lots of mods for this game if you go to their website's forum. And it adds tons of shit. Um, but, like, it's kind of, like, it just seems kind of sloppy and weird. Um... And they said, like, beginning of the year, hey, we're adding Steam Workshop support so you can just download the mods from Steam. And I'm like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. That's That way more people know mods exist. Because right now only a really few, a like, core pe- group of people know that you could mod the game and there's tons of mods for it. Um, adding Steam Workshop support just makes it so that more people can mod it. They know it exists. Like, do it! You What the hell? What else are you working on? God damn it. Mm. Like, is it that hard to add Steam Workshop? Like, some of the worst games on Steam have Steam Workshop support. Like, it can't be that difficult to, like... i got no idea. Because they don't have to really make any content. Oh, there's a competitor mod. That's cool. Oh, yeah, you're looking at them on, the, on their forums? Yeah. Yeah. That's some, a good idea. There's really cool stuff. And um, there's one that add like, tons of, like, new random scenarios and, like, extends the years. And just, it makes more consoles after the, like, last few. Like, I mean, because, I mean, all the consoles in Game of Tycoon are, like, parodies of real ones. But, like, you know, it's kind of cool to see them, like, just add crazy new ones, like, afterwards. And, like, it, mm. there's tons of cool mods. Like, I have um, the expansion pack mod, I think, adds a bunch of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Some, a bunch of others. But, uh, like, it's... Fire in the office. Oh, my God. A fire just broke out. We all <laughs> need to leave now. <laughs> there is a ton of stuff. And um, oh it's cool. And, like... The info stat mods are really good as well. Um, I'm trying to remember that like adds a whole. I feel like statistics. Like if you could look at your games and like see exactly right. like what kind of people bought it. And I don't know. That's I like that kind of shit. But um, there's a couple of things that I wish they did with that game though. You know when um, you're in your develop the you're in your development stages, and it's like okay, uh, here's like a slider of things that you can do it's uh like engine gameplay story and quests or whatever yeah i wish they were a bit more specific about what those things meant like yeah, yeah. if you don't put enough time into your engine is the game gonna run properly or i just wish they'd put like a little bit more thought into that <clears throat> yeah um uh, i know they got to a point you get to a point where you've got like a big engine um if you have so much stuff in your engine, you have to have like certain things all the way up, or you can't use that specific engine that you've made. But that's I don't know. I just don't feel like I want to play it again. <laughs> I don't want to play it all the way through again because it takes so much time. It does take quite a bit of time. I've already finished it, so I don't know that I want to do it again. That's why I've been playing um, Game Dev Story on the iPhone. Mm-hmm. Um, which is what inspired Game Dev Tycoon. Like they're very similar. Um, this was made by Kairosoft. It's got kind of a retro 16-bit RPG look to it. Um, and so far, like I became super successful, super fast in this game. Like I don't know if it's supposed to be so fast. Like 
I made my first game and it got like fours and fives out of ten and I made like a million dollars off it. Like my first game and I'm like, <laughs> Okay, that shouldn't happen. Like that's not real like this game sucks. Like if this is game dev tycoon, I'd be fucking dead in the water if I kept making games this bad. I made like seven games in a row that all got fours and I like had enough to like hire my rest of my staff and like really start spending time training them and getting them leveled up and now I have this ma- I'm in the second the third tier fucking studio. I have thirty million dollars and all my games get nines and tens. It's like no matter what I do, like my developers are just so fucking good that they just kick ass. I'm winning game awards, I'm winning best soundtrack, I'm winning best design at the game awards, like I'm just kicking ass. I'm firing old dead weight employees and hiring new ones. Um because I can I have enough money to hire a Hollywood fucking like dude to like really send out a big job wide search so I can get all these awesome developers on my team. Like I have all these crazy Japanese people with like high ass skills just making all my games for me. Like I fired the original team. They're not it's not the same team anymore. I'm just an asshole who just mm-hmm. fired the whole team. But like I'm so successful. I'm making the best games, having the greatest time. But uh yeah, it's <laughs> I I'm done with the game though, because I beat it in an hour, pretty much. The only thing I did, and I'm only in like the SNES era. Um, <laughs> the only thing is like there's a game of the year awards, and you have to have like perfect tens to win it. So I guess like the big grind is seeing if you can get a perfect ten game so you can win game of the year award. It's like the ultimate goal. Like I win runner up every fucking year, and I'm so sick of being be- beaten by fucking. <clears throat> Maybe I will keep playing it, I guess. I mean, it's a phone game, so I can just crack it open while I'm waiting for stuff and make a game quick. But um, I'm really mad like there wasn't more. Like, I played Game Dev Tycoon. I guess it can't be too bad. I played Game Dev Tycoon for 17 hours. That's what I have on that. And I wish I could have played it for 100 because I loved it very much. But, like, I kind of mm-hmm. exhausted it, like, a little bit. Like, that's why I kind of yeah, wish... you get to the point you yeah. know, where it goes, um, okay, this is as far as the timeline's gotten. Now just do what you want, and it's just yeah. like, well, I'm just making sequel after sequel, and yeah. it's making loads of money, great, what? Like, I kind of, I like new stuff happening. That's why I like some of the mods, they add more of that. Like, I liked it when new stuff was announced, new stuff was coming out, and, like, just once you, once you get to a certain point where, like, you have, like, like you can see what genres are going to work, mm. and, like, it just gets boring, because you can just keep churning out those games, the three green plus signs. And just kick ass yeah. every fucking time. I mean, there's after, an option to turn that off, but I mean. Yeah, after I finished my game, all I made was se- a sequel to my post apocalyptic RPG, and it would just get tens every time. Yeah. There was nothing I could do to stop it from getting tens. And I was like, well, I guess, you know, I guess that's it. I guess I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, Game Dev Tycoon. Game Dev Story. <laughs> Questions? <laughs> One day I'll I'll play that game. That's my. Did I it's jealous, fun. jealous of you because you haven't even played it ever? And it's a really addicting game once you like start getting into it like for the first time. Like it's like this is cool. Yeah, it's something I'm gonna get during the sale and <laughs> have it sitting around to whenever just I randomly decide to play it. And, yeah. Uh, I just kind of wish they would do some kind of official deal. Like, that's a game I would buy DLC for. Like, like I don't know what they're doing. Like, I can't... Like, obviously, you know, they're not going to tell anyone what they're doing behind the scenes like what they're making. But, like, I really would like some kind of add-on, like, expansion pack for Game Dev Tycoon that's official. And, like, not just some sloppily-ass mod that some mm-hmm. guy made. Um Have- they added anything to the game since the release? Like, any new features? Um, no, just, like, increased mod support. They released, like, a tool that, like, makes modding easier, like a, like a really good mod tool or something like that. Right. That was, I guess they're just hoping that, like, that kind of carries the game on, like, mod support. And it does. There's lots of them. It's just Steam Workshop is going gonna, is gonna to make it much, uh, a lot, it's, I don't know, it's just going to be much better for the game's life, but they've taken a while on that. Oh my right. god, sorry about the background noise. That's okay. Uh, 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 yeah. Good game, though. Mm. Yeah, Want to get, get to some questions or something? Yeah. If we have any, we have. We got some. Don't worry about it. Uh, I know, we always get questions. That's cool, man. Um, okay, let's see. What is, uh... Brian was got a phone call. 
Get off the phone, Ryan. Just kidding. I hope he took, I hope he took his headset off. <laughs> I don't think he did because he's typing. <laughs> Get off the phone, Ryan. Hope he probably has it on like speakerphone. Um. Anyway, yeah, work. Don't wait for him. He's doing. He's doing work. Uh, <laughs> okay. This this guy asks with the rise of VR gaming. And, this guy. and MMO trading card games. I probably say his name. <laughs> He's that tired. This is from Ericsson. He asks, with the rise of VR gaming and MMO TCGs like Hearthstone, what new innovations in gaming do you expect to see? Now, I'm not sure if he's asking like those two just in general, like standalone. Um, yeah, I guess... Um, Wait, what was the what was the question again? I wasn't listening. <laughs> with was, uh, with the listening. rise of VR gaming, like virtual reality, Oculus Rift, yeah, yeah, and MMO TCGs, um, like Hearthstone, which I don't even know if that's an MMO trading card game. I think it's just a trading card game. Um, what new innovations in gaming do you expect to see? And like uh, how, how it's gonna look? Like the TCG yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that means like. Do you expect to see Rift support for Hearthstone, or just like in general? Here's two things that have been coming out, or been that are like totally new, or something. Fuck. You know what I want? I want, I want a legit uh, game for the Oculus Rift uh, Yu-Gi-Oh game. It'll be just like in the Yu-Gi-Oh anime. You'll you'll be on on that stage, and you summon the monsters, and they actually appear. It's like it's like in the anime. That would be that's that's something that needs to happen. Yeah, that's see now. That's why an Oculus Rift for that. Yeah, even if yeah, that's not the 3D, e and like it, it's, you're gonna be there. It's just it's you're gonna be. There. Even if this isn't the intention of his question, that's where we're taking it. That would be fucking awesome. Like, like yeah, because then you could say like it's time to duel. I mean, like everything's around you, and you're in the arena, and you're on that cool like that cool podium where they stand in the in the anime. And like all your monsters oh. are on the battlefield down there. Well, we're at it. Can we do Beyblade as well? Sure. Let it rip. So you could have the you could have the, <laughs> the you could have the Bit Beasts come out the Beyblade when yeah when it was time. Oh, <laughs> dude, th that's that's like oh, this will be so cool. That's like my my dream childhood dreams coming true. Yeah, no, no, right. It feels really I weird though to go. Bit. Oh, this VR headset. What do we want? Cartoons from the early 2000s. Yeah! <laughs> oh, imagine like a Pokemon game, though. You just walk in and get into a bush. You just walk oh, Hold on. I did I did get linked a picture on Twitter from a friend, Sultan. Um, and it was like really weird. <laughs> it was like so strange. And I've got to find it. Oh, my God. People need to stop tweeting me. This is insane. What is it? What you need it to, it's like a gif. Oh my god. I can't you're gonna, find you're it. gonna have to um, describe it once you find it. So that the viewers can picture it. Well, may, maybe maybe you can help me. Here we go. Found it. Maybe you can help me with this. Alright, let's see this. <laughs> what? This is so dumb. <laughs> you know when people say Oculus Rift the to me, gaming. that's what I see. <laughs> that is so dumb. That is so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> that is, <laughs> is now. The future is now. Uh, oh my so, god. So help me describe this for people. How would you describe that? Just like there's a guy on some sort of treadmill. Oh yeah, that's a, that's like a peripheral. Okay. <laughs> For I'm on page anything at GDC or any of those conferences. That is a peripheral. This the, the image is a man wearing the Oculus Rift on that peripheral for the Oculus Rift made by a third party that allows you to control your movement on a weird fucking bulky ass treadmill thing. Yeah, you can go any direction with it, I guess. Yeah, that like that like two guys are gonna buy. Um and he's playing Pokemon. Um well, it's obviously not real. Um I don't think. It's like, not. It definitely yeah. isn't. No. That's probably for some other game and they just kind of like added it. Added Pokemon on the, yeah. on the left. Yeah. Oh. This is what this is what we're going to get with the Oculus Rift. It's not going to be like Beyblade and Yu-Gi-Oh! and 3D monsters. It's going to be like really shit Pokemon. 
ripoffs and stuff. Hey, but th- we're talking about like Pokemon the, MMO this is just the beginning. Pokemon MMO. Yeah. I mean, like the whole Yu-Gi-Oh thing, it, it can happen in the future, but not like in a year. I, I want to wait until headsets on don't look stupid. To be honest. Yeah, you want a big. Well, they gonna be nice and slick. Just like yeah, Google just Blast so I know that I'm not gonna get neck damage while I'm wearing it. You know, I'm keeping my head up right or whatever. It weighs like five pounds. So like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I don't know really how to answer that question because I don't. I try not to expect anything because then everything surprises me. That's a good plan. Um, but I don't feel like. Here's the thing. I don't feel like Sony and Microsoft are as in a what's the word innovative is that the word innovative there you go <laughs> yeah um, I don't feel like they're as that as Nintendo are because they're always doing something a little bit different whether it works for them or not so I'm very rarely surprised by Microsoft and Sony but I'm pretty much always surprised by Nintendo. Yeah, so I'm excited to see what Nintendo got for Nintendo is gonna be the guys. They're gonna bring Virtual Boy back and shit, dude. Like Rich Boy too. Oculus Rift can go. Oh, you're a dick. That's, that's yeah. Crazy. Did we talk about this on the show? We did, but I'm just I'm bringing that back because that's that's what I want. It's, it's true. That yeah. was our E3 predictions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 2014. It's gonna happen, <laughs> man. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, I can't wait yeah, till E3. It's, get, it's getting to that point where we get to actually make proper predictions as well. I know, I, yeah, I'm excited now. I didn't realize that we we have a gaming podcast. We can like talk about E3 all together. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Shit. We should yeah, we right. should do a live thing during one of the press conferences. Yeah. Sure. We should just get on Skype all together and watch it together and just say everything sucks and you're disappointed and we're all disappointed. Come on. Cry. Just bring in the Pringles. Hell yeah, Yoku. I'll bring <laughs> my garden salsa. Have we looked into uh, E3 press badges, by the way? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I think it's um. I'm serious, cause you know the requirements aren't that hard, right? What are they? I can't go. I can't like, go. Like I was, I was able to go. You been? And our site was doing less than like like a thousand views a, a month or something at the time. Wow. One of these you days. Need noodles. I'm just saying. <laughs> just look into it. I'm eating. Look in, into I'm eating uh, pudding without a spoon. Oh, I, I did that like. <laughs> I did that two days no, because all I, all I own is one fork, and that fork is dirty, and I did not want to click it. So I, I ate pudding. That's so Not gross. Like <laughs> <laughs> you own one fork. been high this you own, you own one fork. And it was dirty, and I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> Can we uh, get a Kickstarter to get your chrome some cutlery, please? Oh, your chrome. <laughs> hey, I also own like one plate and one cup. Hey, I live on my own, right? That's all yeah, I but do. you could probably use more than one fork. I'm pretty yeah. sure. That's awesome. Never, never get another one. Just... I don't even own a spoon. I just own one fork. That's it. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. like butcher knife. I have this <laughs> pudding sitting up here, and I'm like kind of like a little hungry, and. uh... I don't want to leave to go get a spoon, so I just opened it up and I'm just eating it, like by like squeezing the cup and like just drinking the pudding. That's like that sounds really vicious, but like, uh, you know. I don't even know what question we were on. Welcome to the Primitive Podcast. Um, Yeah, I just I just realized I just realized I uh, had some pudding in my fridge. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, the you fork are... is dirty as well, actually. I'm not going to eat it with the fork. You're going to use just your mouth? <laughs> yeah, man. Welcome to the Prentice Podcast, baby. Mm. This is a good I would thing. like cheers with the, with the pudding cups, but you're like in Pennsylvania or some shit. <laughs> Maybe spiritually. Um, what question were we on? The one about VR. And... Uh, oh, I think yeah. we, could, we could move on pretty much. Yeah, we'll see. Uh... Yeah, none of us know how to answer that question, so sorry about the that. The answer was the picture that Ebby sent. And Bill's description. Which, um, yeah. Okay. Miata, or Miss Random Badger, asks us, what is the most exorbitant gaming-related purchase you'd like to be able to afford? So what's the craziest, most outrageous purchase you'd like to make gaming-wise that is just 
That so out of your thing, that guy was walking. walking. <laughs> no, <I remember. laughs> that thing probably cost a pretty penny. You know what I'm saying? It probably is very expensive. Yeah. I don't think I want it though. <laughs> Mine's the most boring thing ever, though. It'd be like, oh, a really nice gaming computer. Yeah, it's mine. You know. Uh, like the yeah. best, really high yeah. end. Yeah. yeah, to be fair, like top of the line, like I would have a room dedicated. It would have like one of those cool lab doors that goes like pitch and it opens up and like all this like air comes out like that steam. Or not steam, but like just like, <laughs> it's like it's a lab shit. Like it looks like a lab. Cold, cold air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like um like the wall every, everything's made of like lab metal and like nothing is like it's all cold in there and like the computer can never get hot. It's like a sealed off lab room underneath the ground. And like it has like eight computers, all insanely like top of the line stuff. Like just monitors all over the walls. And like yeah. It's like two hundred and sixty thousand core processors. It's not even like realistic, but like I want that. Um no, I just realistic. want a really good gaming computer and maybe four monitors for it. Cause I could use four monitors really yeah. easily. Yeah, I need to get a second monitor. Yeah, I've got two and it's not enough, and I don't think my computer could handle three, so. Oh, I'm shit. I'm at my limit. I'm at my limit. This is a mistake. Sorry. So, mine's really boring. <laughs> no, my, mine was kind of the same. I'm, like, boring, too. Well, I mean, like, what what other stuff? Games and shit like that, ain't. That peripheral for the uh, Oculus Rift. And a room for it to go in, because you can't just put that in the corner of the living room. It's not like a wee balance yeah. board, is it? It would go in my game yeah, laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> they needed to have, like, so you can, like, fold it up and, like, put it under your bed. Or, or something. could I buy Bethesda Game Studios? Oh, oh, shit, buy a whole studio? A... Yeah, buy a whole studio. There you and go. Then... That's a good one. That's thinking outside the box. Yeah. And then I'd just live in their offices, because their offices are amazing. Oh, I like, yeah. So good. Fuck yeah. I'll buy, um, Nintendo. <laughs> All of Nintendo. <laughs> I'd buy Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Just buy, buy a Reggie. <laughs> yeah, I'd buy him to go in uh, Bethesda Game Studios as a uh, prop or something. So they could put him in uh, Fallout or something. I'll have him, like, introduce my, my breakfast or something every time I, I have breakfast. Oh, I'd get a water if I was going to get anyone, actually. Because he'd be like, please take a look all the time. And I'd be like, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. Or if I was going to go, actually, this could happen one day. I'd like to go to a couple of conventions in America, which is also gaming related. I'd like to buy stuff, okay? <laughs> I'd like to go to PAX at some point. Yes. And I would like to go to either AGDQ or SGDQ, which is a gaming marathon for speedrunners, because I'd just really like to see some speedruns live, because I think I'd just get so into that. It'd be so hype. So I'd like to go sort of that way if I was going to go. This could happen, but not for a while. You know? I'm never going to buy Bethesda Games. Games <laughs> games, like, so. You never know. Right, who knows? You might be, like, the CEO, like... Like twenty years from now or something. So. Let's look into the future. Pretty we'll look back on this episode and I'll be like, Todd Howard works for me now. I make all the decisions in all the Elder Scrolls games, and that's why I've not liked a single one in seven years. <laughs> Boo boo. There you go. Fuck yeah. So what was everyone else's Nintendo? Oh, oh no, oh. I'd buy I'd buy rare. I want, oh, would you take Rare back to the Golden Yeah, days? and I'd Bring give it, I'd just, like, gift it to Nintendo. Oh, <laughs> just... that'd be so good. <laughs> yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, Microsoft owns them now, don't they, or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah they're making you can stupid get ass, like, motion, there. motion, like, dancing games and shit. Like, screw that, make me a real Donkey Kong game. Yeah, the only positive thing to come out of that was I can now download Banjo-Kazooie on my Xbox if I ever want to play it instead of getting the N64 out. Hell yeah. Why well, you gotta play with the N64 controller? Come on, the weird ass shape. You know, hold Sorry, it. Sorry, I just I just emulate it. <laughs> the, play uh, with an Xbox controller anyway. The N64 controller is like a it's it's like shaped like an awkwardly standing buff man. Like a two arms. It was, like a, it was like, like a Ooh. trident sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. or like do... a futuristic futuristic car wheel. 
people used to hold it in all these different ways. Like, I know people who held it from the outside little things, the outside prongs. But I held it with the middle one. Yeah, I did that middle one. It has a trigger. Yeah. But when I went to play on one not too long ago, I was using the outside one and, like, had my finger and thumb stretched to the Z in the control stick. So it was really weird. I don't know what happened. What a weird shape. Who thought of it? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shigeru Miyamoto was sat there going, what, what will make our gaming experience top-notch? It's like, shit, I need a third hand. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I got Tetris 64, and you actually had to use the D-pad mm-hmm. on the N64 controller, and that was weird. That was really weird. Because that was the only game I ever used that, that thing for. Wow. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> I zoned that for a second there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you talking about the N64 D-pad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I never used that shit any, ever. <laughs> Tetris 64 was the only game I ever yeah. found that used it. So. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. There, um, I used it for WrestleMania 2000. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby, yeah. That's the only fucking one I ever used. I played that shit out of that game, only because I was a big wrestling fan back then, and I made my... <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. I've been... <laughs> my cousin and I made our whole family. In the game. <laughs> as, <laughs> as wrestlers. <laughs> like, every, every fuck oh, yeah, man. me and every fucking person in our family. is. If I could find my cartridge, it would still be on it. Like, <laughs> You would probably sell that cartridge oh, for a lot. God. Oh, man, it was a black cartridge, too. It was fucking cool. I love that game. That was like, the best wrestling game I ever played back when I liked wrestling. You know, it was a proper serious game when it had a black cartridge. Hell like, yeah. Rage Wars, black cartridge. <laughs> Oh, man. Good stuff. All right. Anyway, the next question? Next question. I probably won't... We have a lot of them. I probably, probably won't do them all. Only because yeah. they're running over... I think we should do, like, three three questions. So, yeah, so... so last, last question. So, last question. Oh, no, because I want my question to be asked. No. Which one? The return to the question of yesterday episode. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't have to answer that one. Um, So, let's do that quick. Yoku, last time we had a question... Asked us if we could make a game, what would it be? What would it be about? Um, and I answered Cult Leader Tycoon. Um, what? A game all about being a cult leader. Oh, shit. Um, but it'd be oh, funny right. and, like, cute. No, um, just... And, like, you know, you could have a religious... <laughs> you, could, you could have a religious... Cute. It'd be, like, tongue in shape. You, have a, you could have a religious cult. You can have a, you know, just, like, a crazy brainwash cult. Like, all that uh, stuff. That'd be actually pretty fun. Though. It'd be really fun. You have to, like, spread your, your influence across the country and, like... And, like, just, like, convert so many people and, like, have them do stuff for you. And, like, I think it would be a lot of fun if done right. But uh, that was my answer. I forget what Kubo and Ebi answered. Well, I said I wanted to come back to it because I wanted to think about it. That's right. Um, and I don't remember what Kubo answered. I don't remember what I said, to be honest. Kubo <laughs> probably said, like, I'm, like, I'm going to make nah, it. Was probably, it was probably stupid anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, you're right. It was, it was probably a game about Instagramming food. Oh, that's what it was, yeah. Uh, Instagramming <laughs> food, exactly. <laughs> like taking pictures of your food and putting it on Instagram? Jealous. That's the game? Yeah, Kubo already made that yeah, game. That's Kubo's, the game. Kubo's, oh, yeah, Kubo's, right. I remember what it was. It was a game about one. Bill's life. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, That yeah. was the answer. Yeah, it was. It was about Bill's life. You could play Bill. That's what it was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just had a flashback for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. So Abby, what did you think? Not did you sleep on it? Like, what did you pick? What did you? I uh... made. I made a note. I Ooh. had a notepad, right? And I, I had like a spider diagram on there, and I was coming up with all the ideas. I want to make this game really bad, but um, you know, The Walking Dead survival instinct, and how that wasn't very good. Yes. But it had these good ideas. Like, I really liked the idea of scavenging fuel, fuel so you could get further and you'd have to manage, you know, your group and your people. I liked that idea. It's just the execution of the game wasn't yeah. very good from what I saw. Um, but I had this idea where it doesn't have to be zombies. It can be something else. But a post-apocalyptic game, obviously, um, where you have, like, a, a town of people and you have to protect that town of people by going out and scavenging for things that will be of like use to them and you have to build the town up so it's sort of like 
how how would I explain this? Do you see where I'm going with yeah. the, the idea? Mm-hmm. I think um, um, I think Project Zomboy is kind of like that. Okay, but it's not zombies. I've changed it. It's definitely not zombies. It's ghouls from Fallout Three. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> but you have this like safe area where you can, when you go out scavenging, you can find people and you can make moral choices on whether you think they'd be good for your group or not, and you know. I play it. To kill them or whatever. I, or I'd buy pay. it on a Steam sale and never play it. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Good to have your support. Panda Bishonen will be a thing one day. <laughs> That's a but, company one day, yeah. Yeah, one day. It'll be me. But I really want to make that game so bad. But... That's that's my answer. Most irrelevant. Let's do let's make Permadeath Studios and uh, make Cult Leader Tycoon and that game. What and the game about Bill. The, the game about in Bill would be in, in my game about Bill's life. That would be the yeah, number one on. game of our studio. How about you, Yoko? What would you do? Ten out of ten. I don't know. This is a little. This is this is a hard question to answer, really. Yeah. I mean. I I guess platformer. Uh, Maybe with a Russian theme. No, I'm... you collect bottles of vodka as your power up. And uh, the uh, soundtrack is that, is that song from. Uh, oh man! <laughs> man if, it, if it plays like Spyro the Dragon, <laughs> and you gotta collect vodka bottles. It's just a drug, Spyro the Dragon. <laughs> like like the quest for spoon, you have to go out and like, get the spoon. But what about like... Bill's life as a platformer? Like him walking up the stairs, like jumping up the stairs. Or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you have an option to just go jump, go through this obstacle of jumping to yeah. get to the kitchen to get the spoon, or just eat, or just skip that and just eat the pudding, just like that. <laughs> this is a game. Ideas. <laughs> so that's your. Or, that's, that's or just your... a game like, I don't know what kind of point it would have, but just a game about like a regular person's life, just kind of like. So the Sims. The Sims, but no, but not not just The Sims. Like The Sims is like The Sims. Komodachi like life. Do you mean like you mean like a fucking hardcore one, where like you could like get cancer? <laughs> Yo, <damn. laughs> and, you, and you die, and you're like. Shit. Well, that's what I mean. Like like just like a hardcore life sim. Like The Sims is goofy, you know. Like like oh, your sim died. It comes a grim reaper. Ha 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 ha. Well, if no. you put in all the stuff like about yourself, like do you smoke? Yes or no. Do you drink? Yes or oh, no. Man. And then like. That would, yeah, be so, about that. Man, that would be so fucking grim. Cause like, <laughs> like <laughs> legit consequences. You have to actually, oh you actually have to sit there for eight hours. Yeah. Oh man. Well, yeah, like if you like put like yourself in the oh yeah, I smoke cigarettes, I drink beer, I'm like two hundred seventy pounds. I mean, like your character is just like on the brink of death upon creation. Like, yeah, and you have to put like family like, history and like, really oh excited. my dad, my yeah, dad like, died of this, like, and my granddad died of this. Oh my yeah. god, that'd be so grim. Like you just be playing your own death. Like, it'd be so fucking creepy. That would be a game that would make me get into bed at night and just cry. Oh my god, that would be, like, such a revolution. Like, like everyone likes weird indie games and, like, weird, like, art games and stuff. Like, that right there. Like, just, like, your death generator. Like, just, like... Wow, it's like the seeing the future. That will start predicting people's future. Like, holy shit, even if it was just... Even if it was just, like, text-based... Like you put your stuff in, and like it, like you know, like it tells you like you're sitting in your room or whatever. You like you have trouble breathing because you're so fucking fat and stupid. Like, <laughs> like, like you shouldn't be playing this game right it. now. You should make it a visual novel and then put a harem in there. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah anime anime girls would make your terrible lifestyle much better. It actually would. Then you could have yeah. you have your waifu. Then it's not as depressing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, call um, it vodka always, you know. Oh man, <laughs> this yeah, okay, that's a yeah, it's gross. You smoke, you're such you a vodka. <laughs> It'd be like nagging in real life, <laughs> but with cute anime girls instead. Oh my god. No, but I, I would want it like you know you you'd have to pay rent and stuff in that game, but make it like more harder. You actually have to work like for it to pay rent. Not kind of just like. But it'd be like the thing, fable. Like, like you got it'd some be, money. It'd be like the uh, Fable Three mini games where you had to play the loot to make money, and there was a mini game involved. <laughs> yep, I didn't play Fable Three, but I know what you're talking about because I played Shamu. Was... <laughs> so we basically took Yokorama's idea and did something entirely different with it that was way more morbid. <laughs> Hey man, I like it. That's yeah, how, that's how games are, games are born. 
We should we should edit this part out of the podcast, right? Something like yeah, of really crap developers who don't know what they're doing. We'll work our way to the top. Yeah. Who will be actually making the games? Because none of us have that skill. We'll get it. Don't worry. We'll, we'll figure learn. it out. You use Game Maker. You don't have to know any right. code. Google.com. Um, how like to a, uh, make a video. Like, I'm sure it's still hard, but, like, Vlambear uses Game Maker to make Nuclear Throne. And, like, you don't really need to know code, really, I don't think, to really, like, use it. Oh, like, it's, it's easy. It's easy. It's easy to make a game. I just Googled how to make a video game. I went to images. And this is all you need to do. This is... There you go. This is it right here. That picture I sent you. That's it? That's all you gotta do? <laughs> That's so easy. Oh, my gosh. All right. That looks like... That looks like me, so I'll be making the game. Just, uh, He's Asian, computer. right? It's Kubo. Modern. Kubo's it's the game good. maker. Uh, who's the art designer? Like, all right, I call it. Uh, <laughs> oh man! Oh my god! Well, to our, our listeners, it's basically an Asian guy facing a computer with two monitors and just has his hand on a keyboard, clicking away. And there's like so, weird shapes yeah. on it and stuff because he's programming, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the screen, yeah. We're good. Man, I didn't know it was this easy. Gosh. <laughs> I am now favoriting a bunch of questions so we can use them for next time because holy shit. Guys, you're asking too much questions. What's your problem? Don't God. say that because then they'll stop and we'll have nothing we to should, talk about. We should really have an episode where we just answer questions. I was, questions I was just going to say because all the ones I just favorited are really yeah. long. They're really long discussion. Like, oh, questions. I mean, we could do that for episode 11, which was supposed to be episode 10 special, where we do something episode special. special. Episode oh, where, where we play games? And yeah, when we play live, we could actually, like, answer some questions. Just, oh, just knock oh, out oh. this massive backlog of yeah. questions. Seriously, we could, like, it could be a, long, a, long, yeah. a longer podcast because we're going to be playing a game. We could yeah. do longer. I have to so. make the permanent Twitch still. Yeah, yeah. Um, give should, a should we maybe talk about that? Because I don't think we've mentioned this to... Yeah, announcements, guys. We have a few announcements, actually. Well, uh, yeah. The only well, problem with the live stream announcements. Is, is I don't have a date for the, for the live stream. But, um, but it's happening. But it's happening. We're going to be playing over Twitch. Um, uh, presumably, I don't have it made yet, but Twitch t- the twitch.tv slash permadeath podcast. Yeah, just um, check the description and also follow us on Twitter at permadeathpodcast. Yes, so you can know. We'll be playing games um, together. Uh, and play Left 4 Dead, yeah. We'll play Left 4 Dead and everything else. Anything else mm-hmm. wants to yeah. play, like... If anybody wants to play stuff with us that um, doesn't have a four-person limit, let us know, and we'll throw it in the up two. Um, up two. Do let us know in advance, though, because uh, we download the games. Yeah, it's <laughs> so. And it's, uh, there's there's many ways you can let us yeah. know in advance. Yes. Um, for example, the Steam group. Yeah, that's, that was a segment. I, I made the Permanent Podcast Steam group community on, on, on Steam. Uh, and um, it's a public it'll, it'll be in the in the description of our yeah. videos. Now yeah, on link Steam. to that. Yeah. Um, you can join there and um, join the Permadeath community on Steam. We're up to like 30 people now and um, all ready to go to play games and have a great time together and eat chicken hoagies. It's, uh, it's fucking awesome. It's like a forum, man. You can like create topics and like discuss things. Yeah, it's basically like having a website on Steam pretty much. I mean, there's event calendars, there's a forum, there's like, a, yeah. Oh, oh we'll so that's make pretty the much going to be yeah, one we'll of be... the go to places. Yeah, and instead of us not making a website, yeah, so. instead of us doing that or making a subreddit that no one's gonna go on, you know, let's just everybody here plays on Steam. Let's just make the Steam group and just put it all in one spot there. That way they can, yeah, it just works. It's and it's and it looks it's nice. So um, that's there. Link to that will be in the description. Um, also, you can go on Twitter and the links there as well, and or just search us on Steam, the Permanent Podcast. It's a public group now. You can just join it. I originally had a private, like you need an invite, but I don't know why I thought I was so special to just do that, but yeah. Bill wanted to have the elite group. Now it's um public, so anybody who has the link can yeah. just go in there. Who cares? Oh. Yeah, and thanks for everyone that that already joined. We haven't yeah. even announced it yet. Yeah, That's, I I was genuinely blown away by how many people joined already. So it's great. <sighs> Play some deck exciting. games. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah, that and the live stream will happen. It's like a you know, celebrating we're in double digits now, so we're gonna live stream some games and um Yeah. We'll we'll probably make the event in the Steam group as well. So you can probably find That's out that right. way. That's right. Pay attention to that and Twitter. And I will also make if if you know the date pops up soon, I'll obviously make a video on the channel as well. Talking uh, uh, Bill pretty much 
talking about other stuff instead of that. Like his <laughs> announcement about iTunes. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Oh, don't knock my style! And then you're going to zoom in on the chin with the music. <laughs> people like, other people like that ending. It's, it was it was totally strategically okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, yeah. Um, live streams coming in the future, play some video games. Even if you, know, you don't want to wait for a live stream, we want to play games with any of us, so you can just hit me up on Steam and I'll play a damn game. Because I, it's what I like to do, so... Um, but we've never played a game before. That's right, it doesn't really happen either. Sorry. <laughs> we should all play, like, all four of us should play TF2 so that we can get, like, super good before we all, live. All, all four because of we're going to suck. Look, all four of us should play Dota. <laughs> <laughs> How funny no, would that be? No. How funny would that be? Horrible. No. No. Dota's so dumb. Because we would make up 75% of the team and, like, it wouldn't be a big deal. Right. Oh, that's true though. Like it'd be fun. Should, like I, I wouldn't get mad. I wouldn't get as mad. They'd be just kind of goofy. They'd just dick around. Like yeah, just... dude. I'd be able to like argue with one person on the team. Then. That awesome knots game is like four bucks on Humble Bundle right now. Or Humble. Awesome knots. Yeah. Is there any good? I have awesome knots. That's freaking amazing. Oh, awesome knots is great. Should I buy oh. it for three bucks? Yeah, dude. It's a great, great game. Okay. I've played it for about like ten hours, maybe more. It's like it's a it's like a platforming two D yeah Nova. yeah it's awesome man. Also, I still want to download Smite because I I hear it's just really good. Smite I really is awesome. Smite things about Smite since it released and like I'm like I want to get yeah. it. Cause I might be better at that because it's it's full player you could, you could like the, the thing I'm really we don't I'll I'll, I'll end the episode because this is like this is redundant at Boba talk but uh I'll talk to you guys after I hit end but uh thanks for listening everybody to the Permanent Podcast episode ten yeah. Is that it? Should I end it? Should I hit stop? Yeah. 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 Does anyone want to say anything? Yeah. yeah. Does anyone want to say anything cool before we end it? Yeah. Open the gate to your town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>